I have a table with five columns, which I would like to transform into the table that will have just three columns and uh, it should look like this. So in first column, I would like to see year. In second column, I would like to see a tournament name. And then in the third column, winner name. And I would like to see it for all those tournaments that I have here and all together. So there is one quick way how to do it. It can be done using Power Query. If we go to data from table range, I so sel it select my range. I click OK. And in Power Query, there is option to unpivot columns. So if I select holding control all those columns that I would like to unpivot, go to transform and pivot columns I will see it exactly in that format as I want it so I will just simply rename it to tournament and this I will rename to winner and just go to close and load and it will put this table into new sheet now let me show you how to do it in some older versions of Excel where Power Query is not available. So first thing we need to do is count how many rows your table has. So count A, select first column, for example, and it will show me that my table has 23 rows. Now I will use indirect function. I want value from column A and first row, so end row first one and I want it in through A1 style. I will close the bracket and just copy it down. Now you can see that uh, it's not starting over from A1 so I need to adjust my function here and instead of row only I will change it and exclude from there number of rows that I have here as this will work just once and I want to make it universal I will need to multiply it by current uh, row number current row number divided by number of rows in the table but as it will have some decimals I will round it up to zero digits and as it will round up this 1.0 something up to 2 I will add minus 1 now I will just add the brackets So here, okay, now it's universal and you can move it down as many times as you want. So I will copy it up and we'll show you how this function works. So if I go to formulas, evaluate formula, it's doing exactly this. So. I have A and then it's calculating which row number I want. So I'm in row 24 and then 23 which is number of rows in my table and then round up my current row divided by row numbers which is 24 divided by 23 it's 1.04 and when it's rounded up it's 2. If I add minus 1 then it will just multiply this 23 by 1 and I will 
go back to my A1 cell from where I wanted the value. So that's how this formula works. And we have first column ready. Now for the second column where I want tournament name, I will add another function offset. I will be starting from cell A1. So I will make absolute reference to this cell. I don't want to move by any rows, so rows will be zero, but columns will be my row number. divided by number of rows in this table and again I will round it up and don't have any digits there. Now I can copy down this formula and it will put their tournament name. I will copy down and now the last thing I'm missing here is name of the winner so in this case I will use again combination of indirect and offset functions so I will start with indirect I can use exactly the same formula as in my first column but I will add offset and move from this cell by zero rows but by number of columns the same as I calculated in column M so I will go with current row divided by number of all rows in the table and just simply round up to zero digits. Now if I copy it down I will have name of the players here. I need to copy it more down and down as there are more tournaments. It would be good also to calculate where is end of this table that we just made. So I will add count a function here. This will count how many columns you have. And now I can use if function. So if current row is smaller or equal to twenty three rows multiply by four columns then we know it's our data if not then leave it blank so I will copy it down and I can see that my data set is ending here. Now I can do just one simple thing. Put here filter, select data only. And now if I want to exclude all those years that are duplicates there, I can unfilter that as well. And now just simply copy it, paste it, for example, to some new sheet. And my data set is ready. If I compare it with the Power Query result, I have 89 rows. My table here has 89 rows. Only difference is here that I don't have naming of columns. So let's name it Tournament and Winner. Now if I add filter here and sort it by year, 
I will have it exactly in the same format as from Power Query. If I will add some data to my table, the function will automatically recalculate everything. It's the same like if you go to Power Query and refresh the data. And that's it. I hope you like it.